Hello everyone, today I am going to introduce uh, ZK Tokus fingerprint device K45 Pro. This comes with a capacity of 800 and fingerprint capacity and badge capacity will be also 800 and the transaction capacity will be like 80,000. So this is the UI. I am going to tell each and every modules one by one. So this is menu button, click the menu button so we can see all the modules. So first will be like user management. This is for like enrolling and editing, deleting, everything will be happen here for new users. Here we have three modules, new user, all users and display type. New users for like enrolling new users. Like with fingerprint we can enroll. I am going to show how to enroll with fingerprint models. We have to click three times fingerprint. This is how we will enroll with fingerprint. And that will be like we have to show the card. And next will be like all users. Here we can see all the users and we can edit, delete, everything will happen under all users. And this will be like display side of this. That's it. Then next will be like user role. This is nothing but giving permission to the user, defined users like admin, super admin, etc. etc. And here by default we will have three user different roles and if you want we can edit. Then com will be like nothing but communication module. This, this consists of three modules like Ethernet, PC connection and cloud services. Ethernet is nothing but it's like configuring IP address like static or DHCP, IP and PC connection will be like communicating with PC directly. And cloud server is nothing but this is for like uh, configuring this device with the web based software so that we can assign the web based software so IP address and port number here so that we can configure this device in the software. Then next will be like system. System is nothing but system settings. All the settings will be available here like date, time, attendance, USB upgrade, in the sense like upgrading the firmware version. Everything will happen and system settings. And next will be like personalized module. This module is nothing but will consist of a basic settings like wallpaper like user interface wallpaper language everything will be under user interface next will be voice build schedule punch state option punch state option in the sense like check in check out for example in morning we will be having check in and evening will be like check out so that we can define those things under punch state option and shortcut may be, uh, key mapping in the sense we can define the timings and next will be data management data management is nothing but the which is controlling all the data like we can clear data we can back take backup data we can restore the backup data so everything happens under data management and next will be like access control this device can be used for simple access control like it can be communicated with connected with a em lock or a door lock and we can give the lock duration like delay timings for that we, we have the door lock delay settings we can assign the seconds of the open door and next will be like US, usb manager this is nothing but we can upload uh, utterance data we can download utterance data from the device everything we can be done using usb manager and we have the usb code here we can connect the usb device and we can download or upload we can do it and next will be like utterance search this is for like uh, this, in this model we can, the employees can type their user id and so that they can see the own utterance data like check in check out data so you can see here like self service and next will be auto test this is nothing but this model helps for like sometimes the device will be getting some issues so that they can find out like it is, whether it is a hardware issue or a firmware issue we can check by here like by if it's a display issue we can test like test test in the lcd then voice like voice sound then keyboard like touchpad issues fingerprint sensor issue everything you can test here if it is passed then it is not a hardware issue it will be like a firmware issue if what is test clock rtc then sometimes we will verify with the fingerprint that time it is taking very slow that time we can do test clock rtc that time uh, after doing this it will be restored into default settings like default verification speed so it will be get more speed than like default speed to be achieved. Then last will be like system info module. This module consists of all the information about the device. Like it has three modules which is consists of device capacity, device info and firmware info. Device capacity consists of the capacity of the device information everything will be under here. 
and next you like device info this comes of the device name serial number mac address algorithm versions everything under comes under the device info and the last will be like firmware info this consists of the firmware which is in the device like the latest firmware or whatever the firmware available in the device we can see here and push services bio services all the versions like we can see under firmware info this is all about the k45 pro device and thanks for your time thank you